Hey, topping your lines in math and history, and we're going to be simplifying the equations. So, when you simplify the equations, you are usually trying to solve problems. And that's what math is all about, solving problems. But these kind of problems are going to be a little bit different than the ones you normally solve. Like, 3 plus 4 equals 7. And 5 times 10 equals 50. But what happens if you try and solve these kinds of problems? X plus 7 equals 93. Hang on. X. What? What is X? So that is what we're going to be doing today. Finding out what the X is. So when you try to find what the letter X is, this is the main principles of algebra because the number x is sort of like a mystery number or sort of like a surprise number to solving the equation. So when you're doing algebra problems or when you're doing anything where you have to find the missing number, you're basically solving for x. Solve for x. Solve for x. 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 So in algebra, the letter X is known to me as a missing number, or a number you don't know. Even the most famous mathematicians and the most professional ones, they actually don't know what X is unless they solve it. X could be anything. It could be number of junk files to number of gears to number of pencils or pens to a Chromebook to a bed or a number of videos or whatever, like apples, oranges, it could be anything. We don't know unless we actually plug it into an equation. So here's an example. What number plus 7 equals 93? If you don't know off the top of your head, or if you don't want to guess, what we could do is try to simplify the equation to get x alone. So... Instead of solving the equation, we're going to shift the equation into reverse. Well, yeah, but... Just do what you do in school. Well, okay. Wait, don't tell me. Back it up. Huh? Back it up. Right, back it up. <laughs> back it up! Okay, okay! Shift into reverse, SpongeBob! Reverse. Oh, yeah, reverse! <laughs> Back it up! Back it up! <laughs> so we can get what x is. Normally, we have x plus 7 equals 93. We have to subtract that by 7 and subtract that by 7. That'll bring us to x equals 86. So x is going to represent 86. If we plug it back into the equation, it should say 86 plus 7 equals 93. And when you do that, that is correct. So your answer is x is equal to 86. Let's look at one more problem. So with this problem, it's a little bit different. Instead of having just x on the field, we have a 5x. So, 5x is basically the same as x plus x plus x plus x plus x. There are five x's, but if you want to make algebra more simpler and easier, we just have a 5 representing there are five x's in there. So, 5x plus 10 equals 100. To shift it in reverse, we have to subtract that by 10, subtract this side by 10. So we have 5x, because you have to move that down here, equals 90. So what number is put into x? So 5 times what number equals 90? When you have a coefficient in front of a variable, like 3x, that is saying... If you put a number in for x, 
like say we put the number 2 into x, that's saying 3 times 2. So when you have a coefficient with a variable, you have a multiplied up by x, while a is representing a different number. So going back to our problem, 5 multiplied by what number equals 90? Instead of multiplying, we're in reverse, remember? So we have to divide everything by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we have to cancel these out because it equals 1. So now we have x equals 90 over 5. 90 divided by 5 is 18, which means x is going to equal 18 into the problem. Let's try it. Put 18 in for x. 5 times 18 is 90, plus 10 equals 100. So 100 equals 100. So now we know what to do when we see these kind of problems and what x represents. And doing that, this video is the main principles for algebra, because you always have to solve for x. Solve for x. X, x, x. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you for watching Tao Ping and Life's Math Industry. Like and subscribe, and let's see what happens to SpongeBob when he backs up the boat. Well, you backed up. And you know what? I think we're out of gas. And you know what else? We're in the middle of nowhere!